the art quality is, is second to none. Uh, the textures are amazing, and also uh, lots of little effects. Uh, as we go around, I'll point some of them out. Look at the water dripping off the wall. Yeah, up here. The lens flare. You look at the sun, high dynamic range. Look how bright the brights are and how dark the darks are. Okay, imagine a camera doing this. Really hard time with a camera doing this. Now it's computer graphics doing this. So as you mentioned before, this is trying to simulate exactly what uh, your eye sees. And indeed, uh, they have a feature called uh, pupil adaptation where they calculate the luminance in the scene and uh, just like you would uh, if you went from a bright environment into a dark environment, if you're outside and ran into a room, your pupil takes a little while to uh, sort of adapt to that. They build that into this engine as well. It gives wonderful effects. Uh, they've got lots of nice uh, reflective surfaces as well. So over here we have uh, like a mirror, uh, we have tiles, um, the trash can over here. Uh, it's reflecting the rest of the, the room. Now that trash can obviously looks so real because it's somehow simulated in a physically fi physically based way. So that when light bounces off of it, you can almost feel the uh, steel that's, um, um, that it's made of. Absolutely. And you can see the water dripping down uh, in the back uh, there. And as we come along here, there's a, a more uh, sort of plastic uh, posters. Uh, reflections again off the tiles. Uh, the quality of the textures is, is unbelievable. Um, this is real-time computer graphics, ladies and gentlemen, on a little mobile chip. Yeah, yeah it's tiny. 